Question 21. Consider the graph of y equals f of x as shown. Sketch the graph of y equals 4 f of 2x showing the x-intercepts and the coordinates of the turning points. The function is in the form y equals k multiplied by f of a outside of x plus b plus c, with k equals 4, a equals 2, b equals 0, and c equals 0. Next we follow DRT, which means we consider the dilations first, then the reflections, and then the translations for horizontal transformations and then for vertical transformations. Given that b equals 0 and c equals 0, there's no translations. And given that k and a are both positive, there's no reflections either. Now k equals 4 and a equals 2 means that there's a vertical dilation and there's a horizontal dilation. Now a equals 2 implies that there's a horizontal compression by factor 2. And k equals 4 means there's a vertical stretching by factor 4. So when a equals 2 and there's a horizontal compression by factor 2, that means the x-coordinates are divided by 2. k equals 4 means that the y-coordinate, or any of the y-coordinates on the curve, are multiplied by 4. Putting all that together, the sketch of the transformed curve may look something like this. The origin has not been transformed at all, since dilating the origin just results in the origin itself. Horizontally dilating the stationary point, so that's 4, comma, negative 8. The 4 is divided by 2, but the negative 8 is multiplied by 4. And we end up with this point here. And the x-intercept of 6, its y-coordinate is 0, so there's no vertical dilation there, obviously. But the x-coordinate, or the x-intercept, is divided by 2. So we end up with an x-intercept of 3 in the transformed curve.